Are you manually tracking social media follower growth for artists on your roster every week? If so, it's time you automated this. My name is Max Bernstein, and we build custom Airtable databases for our music industry clients. Today, we're going to learn how to use Airtable, Zapier, and Appify to automate the tracking of your artist's social media follower counts across all their socials every week. So let's dive right in. I already can tell this video is going to be a two-parter. So in this first part, we're going to set up the base to properly receive the information every week. Then in part two, we're going to connect Airtable to a, a web scraping tool called Appify, which on a regular interval, in this case, once a week, we're going to record or have the amount of followers, let's say on TikTok for this artist, recorded back into our base automatically. Here we go. So on the artist table, we're going to start a new view. The view is going to be called TikTok account tracking, let's say. And in this case, we're going to hide all the fields. Um, we'll open up a new field and we'll call it TikTok account link. Now, because I don't necessarily know if any of these classic artists have any TikTok accounts, we're just going to use TikTok accounts from, I don't know, medium size to large size creators, such that when we pull this in, we will um, have something to work with. So here we go. But Bon Jovi, the killers, Whitney Houston, Jay Z. Let's assume they all have TikTok accounts, and these are them. The next step is to decide, are we going to track this information in the artist table, or are we going to establish a, another table as a linked record to be able to track these things over time? Let's think about it. Remember, though, relationships, one-to-one, -one, one to many or many to many. In this case, the relationship between artists and the number of social media followers they have in that specific moment is a one to many relationship. Because we want more than just to know how many social media followers they have today. We want to know how many followers they have throughout time. So if we run this for a consecutive number of weeks, each artist is going to have many, call it social media metric values. One from this week, one from next week, one from the week after. That helped us make the decision to establish a new table, in this case, that we'll call social media followers. So in the social media followers table, we want a linked record back to the artist. We want a, I don't know, call it platform. We'll do single line text. In this case, we only really care about TikTok, but you can put an Instagram too. Um, you could do Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. All right. And we want a date. And we want a field to show the value. So like we'll call it follower count. And this will be a number. Boom. And then uh, as a primary field, we'll use a concatenate formula. 
and we'll do artist comma platform comma and then this is something we haven't really talked about yet but um there's a, a way of formatting the date. First, let me show you what it looks like when unformatted. So then you put the date in there. You're thinking you're concatenating artist, platform, date. Yay, but you're not. And you'll see why in a second. So we'll just, you know, put something in here. Artist, platform, date. And you'll see the date shows up looking crazy. So let's first of all change that date. You have to use date time format, and then you have to reference the date. And then you have to pick the way you want it to display. I like lowercase l. It's pretty, pretty standard for me. And now you have a nice, pretty looking record ID. Now, one thing we forgot um, is that we want to have a lookup field back to the TikTok URL. Because every time we trigger Appify to count the number of followers that this artist has, they need to know from where to trigger. We're going to trigger from the artist TikTok account, which we don't have to put into this table because it already exists in the artist table. Therefore, we can look it up the way I just showed you. All right. So let's delete these and now talk about what's going to happen the trigger for when appify decides to scrape the tiktok account to find the follower number is going to be when a new record enters this view so for this part one video we're going to set up an internal automation on tiktok such that every seven days a new record is sent from the artist table to the social media followers table which then will trigger the data to be recorded. Here's how you do it. So, first of all, we're going to need two date fields. T1 is the, what I like to use in this case. And then we'll duplicate that, uh, and then we'll do T2. All right? And time two, sorry, is going to be a formula. And the formula is going to be a date add formula. And we're going to add the T1 date. We're going to add one day or seven days in this case. And then we're going to uh, make it a unit of a day. So we can just go like that. Okay. So if I put a date in here, you'll see this date is now seven days later. We can take away the time use the same display time zone, same time zone for all creators, GMT, blah, 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 whatever. All right. Now, just for purposes, let's filter this by where the TikTok account is not empty, so we don't have a ton of... Okay. So now, regardless of what this date is, this date will always be a number of days later, in this case, seven. So we'll say if this was, um, today is the 29th, so if this was March 22nd, then this would be today, I think. Let's see if that comes out to March 29th. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to create an automation such that when time two equals today create record in the social media followers one thing we're also going to need in here is a no we actually won't need that so let's give you a quick example 
if it were yesterday, and if T1 was yesterday, and T2 was, I'm sorry, T1 was the 21st, and T2 was yesterday, then as soon as the clock strikes midnight today, the trigger would go off because it would be true. Sorry. The 22nd means that T2 is March 29th. As soon as midnight happened early this morning, this would trigger. And if this value were tomorrow, then this value would be March 30th, and it would trigger tonight at midnight, as soon as this value becomes today. So let's make it so it's going to actually find something. Let's go to our automations, create a new one, and we'll call this uh, trigger social metrics trigger TikTok tracking record sure add a trigger when a record matches conditions in the artist table where let's see TikTok URL target count link come on, we already had that in there is not empty and that T2 field is today. Now you should see it. It's there. That John Bon Jovi. So we're going to click. And then we're going to say update record. I'm sorry. Do that again. Create record in the social media followers table where artist is the artist from the trigger date is that t2 date from the trigger because that's today as per our condition uh and that's it that's all we would need right social media followers table just needs the artist and the date. And then since we know we're making this automation specifically for TikTok, let's call TikTok the platform. All right. I am going to run this as configured. Go back and you will see. There you go. Now we'll do one more. Uh, I'll turn it on. And we'll do one more. Let's say that the killers also had that same situation. Boom, the killers. Now we have to add one more step to the automation because in order to get this happening every seven days, we now need to update the value in T1 because now that the records have been created, it's going to stop, right? Because T2 will never be today again after today unless we change the value of T1. So update a record now it's saying what record do you want to update the artist record we get the record id from the trigger and the field we want is t1 and we want to make that field dynamic in we want to make that field the bring in the value of t because that's today's value. So we want to change T1 to today, and then that sets the goalposts over again. So then we get to seven days, takes a, creates the record, boom, resets to seven days, takes a record, resets, 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 and so on and so forth. So let's update it again, go back to data. Let's try it again. You'll see the way we're gonna know that this worked is because I'm going to paste the March 22nd date in here, which is going to make this March 29th, which is going to trigger the automation, which I've just confirmed is on. And then it's going to run, create the social media followers 
record, and then it's gonna update this T1, which you'll see on screen. Ready, one, two, three, go. Automation's running. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Now it made today, it made T1 today, which now means it's gonna run again on seven days from now, which is April 5th. So let's do that with all of these. And once you see that happen one more time, automatically, we are going to go and you'll find six distinct records in the social media followers table, one, two, three, four, five, six, all created by the automation. That's gonna be it for this video. We've created the loop. We've created the um, automation that triggers the creation of a record in the social media followers table. And in the next video, we're gonna show you how to use Zapier and Appify to trigger the scraping of this TikTok account to pull back in the follower number every time a new record's created. If this is interesting to you, check us out, industryauto.co. My name is Max. It's been fun. Thanks.